Have you ever wondered why large ships don't sink in storms? It's a question that's crossed many minds, especially when you consider the sheer size and weight of these maritime giants. The common misconception is that these behemoths, because of their immense size, should be the first to go under when the sea turns rough. But that's not the case. The reality is far from it. This surprising survival of large ships during storms can be attributed to the fascinating principle of physics called buoyancy. Buoyancy is the force that helps things float. When it comes to ships, regardless of their size, it's all about displacement. A ship displaces a volume of water equivalent to its weight, which creates an upward force or buoyancy that counters the weight of the ship. And that's how these leviathans of the sea stay afloat, even during the most tempestuous storms. So, while large ships may seem like they should be vulnerable to storms, there's a lot more going on beneath the surface. To understand why large ships don't sink, we first need to understand the principle of buoyancy. When we talk about buoyancy, we're talking about the ability of an object to float in a liquid or gas. It's a simple principle, but one that's vital to the operation of large ships. You see, when a ship is placed in water, it pushes some of the water away, making room for itself. This is known as displacement. The water, not being too pleased about being pushed aside, pushes back with an upward force. This is what we call buoyancy. It's like a gentle, invisible hand, holding the ship up from beneath the surface. But here's the crucial part. The amount of water that the ship displaces, and the buoyant force that the water exerts back, depends on the weight of the ship. The heavier the ship, the more water it displaces, and the stronger the buoyant force. Now you might think that a heavier ship would be more likely to sink, but that's not the case. You see, the weight of a ship isn't concentrated in one spot, it's distributed across a large area. Think of it like a bed of nails. One nail can easily pierce your skin, but if you lie on a bed of hundreds of nails, your weight is distributed across all of them and you won't get hurt. The same principle applies to ships. The weight of the ship is spread over its entire hull, which is why even a massive ship can float on water. But there's another factor at play here. The ship also displaces a lot of water, and because of this displacement, the water exerts a strong buoyant force, counteracting the downward pull of gravity. In other words, the ship floats because it's less dense than the water it displaces, and this is what keeps it from sinking, even in the face of a storm. But there's more to it than just buoyancy. The design of the ship also plays a crucial role. Imagine a ship as a floating city. It's not just a hunk of metal tossed into the sea hoping it will float. No, it's a meticulously crafted piece of engineering designed to withstand the harshest conditions Mother Nature can throw. The hull, or the body of the ship, is a prime example. Its shape is no accident. It's designed to cut through waves, not fight against them. Picture a knife slicing through butter. The pointed bow, the front of the ship, pierces the waves, dividing them to either side. This reduces the resistance and allows the ship to maintain its speed and direction, even in rough seas. Now, let's talk about the ship's weight distribution. It's not as simple as loading cargo and setting sail. The weight must be carefully balanced. Too much weight in one area can cause the ship to list or lean to one side, making it unstable and more susceptible to the whims of the waves. So, engineers use a process called trim, which is the careful adjustment of the ship's weight. They distribute the load evenly, ensuring the ship remains balanced. This balance is critical in helping the ship ride the waves rather than being overwhelmed by them. The ship's design also includes features that help it stay afloat in stormy seas. For instance, the ship's sides, known as the freeboard, are high enough to prevent water from easily washing over the deck. Meanwhile, watertight compartments within the hull provide an added layer of protection, limiting the spread of water if the hull is breached. In essence, every aspect of a ship's design is a testament to human ingenuity. From the shape of the hull to the distribution of weight, each detail is carefully considered to ensure the ship can weather the storm. So, as you can see, a lot of thought goes into ship design to ensure it can withstand the rigors of the sea, including monster waves. And let's not forget about the role of modern technology. It's a game changer in maritime safety. Nowadays, ships are equipped with advanced navigation systems that can pinpoint a vessel's location down to the last degree. This precision is invaluable, especially when sailing through unpredictable waters. Moreover, weather forecasting has taken giant leaps forward. It's no longer about looking at the sky and making educated guesses. Today's meteorologists can predict storm patterns, wave heights, and wind speeds with remarkable accuracy. 
This allows ships to avoid dangerous conditions and chart safer courses. But what about when the seas do get rough? That's where stabilization systems come in. These sophisticated systems work tirelessly to keep the ship upright, countering the push and pull of wild waves. It's like having an invisible hand steadying the ship, ensuring that it can weather the storm. In the face of a storm, it's not just the ship's physical characteristics that matter, but also the technology it employs. So, why don't large ships sink in storms? It's a question that has fascinated many of us, and today we've taken a deep dive into the answer. We've unearthed the mysteries of these giant structures, understanding how they defy the odds to remain afloat. Firstly, we explored the science of buoyancy, the principle that keeps ships from sinking. It's all about the displacement of water and how the weight of the ship is less than the weight of the water it displaces. We then delved into the role of ship design. The shape, size, and distribution of weight in a ship are meticulously planned to enhance buoyancy and stability, keeping the ship upright even when faced with massive waves. Finally, we touched upon the power of modern technology. Advanced navigation systems, weather prediction tools, and shipbuilding techniques all contribute to a ship's ability to weather the storm. While the sea can be a formidable force, human ingenuity and understanding of the natural world have allowed us to navigate it safely, even in the face of monster waves.